Hope you're ready, guys. I wonder if the accuracy of the AI changes with the speed you're going. Okay, haven't seen anyone yet. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, there's... Oh my god, what the hell, dude? <laughs> there's a freaking tiger, too! <laughs> not see that coming uh, I did not see that coming hey guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna learn everything you need to know about APCs that we learned in the previous test server stream here we go so that's interesting they give you a test server right oops wrong button they give you a test server of these things but they're 120,000 to grind. There's no way you're gonna grind all of them in the 24 hour test server. Your basic APC crew will consist of maxed out six person, one driver and five shooters. You as a driver will be able to carry an assault weapon like SMGs and things like that. The shooters by default, they will be riflemen until you go to the upgrade tab and you can pretty much upgrade any type of soldier to put in a shooter spot apart from flame trooper engineer and mortar man uh, you have no chance of uh, putting them in to the shooter position and if i'm honest with you the flamethrower in a shooter position would be pretty crazy so the new apcs in the basic tech 3 will cost 120,000 experience to unlock and their base battle rating is battle rating 2 but they are strategically significant so i'm pretty sure people are going to use them all the way to the top tier because well they are pretty cool one big downside they can be easily cleaned by literally any fighter plane they're just going to go for a strafing run and all your crew is gone oh my god that thing literally clears the whole thing if you hit it Oofed. We tested out different uses for the APCs and one of the probably wrong ways of using it is equipping your AI shooters with the best possible weapons. We found out the FG42 worked really well or an M2 carbine worked extremely well uh, for your AI shooters and you can just drive around and do drive-by shooting. You'll be driving and the AI from the back seats, they're gonna be shooting anyone they see. All right, we are here ladies and gentlemen. See what AI can do with M2 Carbine. You good, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let's get. Oh, let's not crash here. Oh my God, dude, this freaking borderline works. Let's get this guy. Thank you. Stop, dude. Crumple this guy. Yeah, M2 carbine. Just give that to your AI. Holy bananas, dude. Any more? After you spawn your APC and you drive around, people can actually spawn in your truck while you are driving around, bearing in mind that you're not too close to the cap zone, because it kind of works the same as a rally point. And if someone do spawn in your truck, they can literally join in with the drive-by shooting and that's actually what happened yesterday to another fellow content creator Tita and he literally just randomly spawned into my truck and we did a little drive-by shooting tour in Stalingrad, which was pretty fun. Mobile spawn point used by. Hey, Tita, the dude. What's up? He's on our team. Go, 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 dude. We're gonna go shooting then. Nice. He's probably recording for the YouTube as well. <laughs> what are the chances, dude? I watched some of these videos. It's cool stuff. 
Now on a test server this drive-by shooting actually worked pretty well because it was only a 24-hour test server oh, no. so not many real people were in the games. You were lucky if there were like three or four versus four on every single game and all the other players were AI. So this drive-by shooting was kind of okay, you know, because the AI is pretty dumb and they don't really, you know, kill you that efficiently in the truck. Got to but go what happens out. when you run into someone that's an actual player? Well, nice. <laughs> this happens. Driver's taking hit, that sucks. Ah, dude. Almost. But that one's got a gun, there's that one, that one's the premium one. That one's the premium one. You escort winter uniforms now? Correct. Oh wait, that's not that's not the premium, that's the free one. That's the free campaign tree one. I just shot Admiral Starks in the head, dude. I'm shooting my fellow content creators with no mercy. How to blow this up? I think I should do that. That should just blow it up, right? I think so. Because that's their resupply point if I don't blow it up. So I have to blow that up. Yeah, okay. It's gone. The strategically correct way of using, uh, of course, this APC is as a rally point. As soon as you leave the truck, it becomes as a rally point. It still has to be the same distance from the cap zone as regular rally point for it to work. After your squad is wiped and you want to respawn, choosing your APC rally is going to be available on the map, but you won't be able to drive it anymore. It's just going to work as a rally point. You might wonder what happens when you die three times over and you want to spawn your APC again well the original one will explode and is not going to be operational anymore so i would suggest not to spawn your apc again if you have left the original one in a good spot for people to spawn now the big question is now can you still build a rally point if you have your apc set up as well, a rally point, and yes, after you have parked your APC like a rally point, then you can spawn an engineer and build another rally beacon, and they both will be active until, of course, they are destroyed. This brings us to an amazing opportunity that we actually witnessed yesterday on the stream. One player can now have a maximum of three rally points at the same time, and let me explain how it's possible. You can park your APC that you unlocked in the Tech 3, then you can go and obviously buy the premium APC, that you can also park somewhere else as a rally point and then you can spawn an engineer and go ahead and build the third rally point so even in super lazy teams one person can literally make the difference by setting up three rally points because you know those lazy teams sometimes no one builds a rally having at least okay if you don't want to buy the premium one having at least an opportunity of setting up two rally points by yourself is already a huge opportunity there were some inconsistencies with apz's as expected in the test server in squad lineups they did take up the vehicle slot and their dedicated apc slot which i'm pretty sure it shouldn't be like it if you have a premium account and you can bring out six um squad then i would still think you should be able to bring out let's say a tank and a plane and an apc because it has its separate dedicated slot like slot in the squad but for some reason it did take up one of the vehicles uh, slots and we did test it out with a motorcycle because you can take out a tank plane and a motorcycle squad at the same time and it works so i think the apc allocation in your squad lineup still needs to be uh, uh, fixed or looked into because i don't think it works uh, properly another interesting thing about the apcs i literally used an explosive pack on the german premium APC and it just refused to absolutely die like nothing happened to it and we all remember what happened to my tech 3 APC when Major McDonald used his explosive pack because that's their resupply point if I don't blow it up so I have to blow that up yeah okay it's gone I really hope that's gonna be fixed oh. I think I've just seen one right there in the back we'll see how bombs react to them Okay, we, we cleared the uh, the crew out of it, but I'm not sure if the thing itself is broken. The vehicle is empty, but it seems like you... I don't know. Can you not destroy it? That's, that's a bit weird. I wonder if you can get to the driver, even if it's empty, like... Oh yeah, you can. Let's go. I mean... Oh no. Sprint! Oh, that's bad. 
Yeah. That's pretty much all you need to know about the APCs. I think it's a cool little addition to the game. Let me know what you think about these upcoming APCs. And uh, yeah, make sure you let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.